Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever it might be when you watch this. Samson's having a ball in his cage, as you can see. He's excited. The boys are excited every time I come over here and just to see them because they think, oh, maybe we got somebody for breeding today. But no, sorry, boys. Nothing today. In the middle of next month for August, you will have some ladies. Yeah. And then I've got my whinies over here. What are you guys doing? Hmm? I almost thought about building a pin back here for breeding. I gotta keep it away from this pin, but I could take it about two feet and just give whatever 16 feet is here come up. But I gotta be careful because of the drive that we have here. But it is only temporary. I figured well, maybe I could do one here too. That way it's not out in front. Because if those tree guys do come, they want to take these trees down that are in here and we've got to remove fence so they can land them this way. Or that way, because that tree looks like it's leaning this way. But, yeah. It's just a beautiful early afternoon late morning early afternoon actually I got everybody fed and watered with the rabbits anyways all I had to do was just top off some waters and then give everybody some hay because I filled everybody's feeders yesterday so that was okay no babies yet um Blue Diamond is due today. Here comes Booger. He's going to go prowling. My stomach's making noises. Because she's so, her udder is so much different than Willow's. Willow's got longer teeth. She doesn't quite have those long teeth like Willow has. Hers are more short and stubby like her mom's were. Ariel. But not as big around, obviously, as what Ariel's were.
probably going to get Cal out too and work her out. So at least I have a gallon. So I don't think I'm going to get a gallon out of her. I got a, a bunny breeder who lost a doe and her babies are two, week, two and a half weeks old and they need goat milk. So I'm just going to start kind of milking every day between her and maybe cow and hopefully I can get enough milk for them to be able to supply the babies. Wasn't so bad. She did a pretty good job. I'll let her eat some while she's still waiting. And then we will fill, see how much she melts for us. Got my half a gallon here jar, and we'll see how much we get. Remember, she hasn't been milked since I got her home, so milk her tonight she'd probably fill that up so she's given roughly a half a gallon which not bad I would have to say not bad at all can't complain for a week not being milked so what I'm going to do is go grab cow and uh See how she does. We can get much milk out of her. She's Pretty much dried up too, but I'm gonna try her Just a little bit, wipe her teeth off, and then squirt, squirt, clear out.
hasn't been milking probably six weeks or so I'd say but you want those that are gonna hang on to lactation no matter how that they are milked out you know because I'm trying to dry everybody off but when you have a breeder who's like we had a doe that passed we are needing some goat's milk. Do you have any? And I'm thinking, well, I still have two does that are in milk. It's just that I'm not milking them. So I know I can gather enough milk for them. Which is what I'm trying to do here. that on to their daughters and Cal is one that does this. She's she's very good on the stand. Whether you milk her by machine or you milk her by hand, it don't matter. Ariel on the other hand is the Scarlet and Willow's mom that I lost this year after she kitted. She was always very steppy on the stand. She'd constantly kick in and stuff and she sometimes would knock the milker off, put her foot in the bucket. She was just, she was just like that. But not all her daughters are like that, obviously, because I've got one that I've raised myself, you know, Willow. And I had Scarlet until she was six months, and then my dad came and took her and Jewel, but he did a good job with, uh, training them to a stand. So she jumped right up here. No hesitation. Okay, she's done now. That's 
a half a gallon right there. Again, so let me get her. I always do this to my doses, massage them. You don't have to because they let down anyways, but I always do it and then I really can feel inside their udder too if they have any knots or any type of swelling, heat, anything like that. And then I've got to fill this one up and grab me another one because I've got already more than I'm going to be able to put in that. other one. I'm going to set it right here. I'm going to take this one and put it back so you guys can see. Fill this one up the rest of the way. jars I get off of uh, Amazon. I think you get four in a case, which is two gallons worth. So I think it's 30 bucks. of a gallon off of two doughs were drying off, which is not bad. So, I just want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got to start probably now just milking once a day at least to get cow and scarlet back up in milk production a little bit so we can have milk for the breeder and then maybe start having milk for ourselves too before I actually completely dry them off. So thank you guys again and we'll see everybody tomorrow. Still no babies. We got everybody has already been due or due today and no babies but we'll wait and see. So thank you again and God bless.